Hey guys, you're here live with MVI. Thanks for watching. Um, we are in a 2018 Chevy Tahoe today, and uh, we are going to do the uh, factory DVD upgrade and also our bypass module. So I'm going to kind of point some stuff out along the way. Um, but what we have is basically the uh, factory system here with nav. It's got the CarPlay projection icon for CarPlay and Android Auto, but as you can see, there is no uh, video app on here. So, I'm going to kind of explain some things as I go, but today we are doing the DVD upgrade. Right now, it's only got the uh, CD, so when we're done, it'll play uh, DVD and Blu-ray, actually. This is the factory setup. So, I'm going to get started tearing things apart, kind of explain things as we go. Um, and uh, feel free to ask questions, call us, text us as usual. But I'm going to start over here. We are going to have to get behind this glove box, guys. The screen does have to come out. There will be a new screen going in. The reason being the electronics inside the screen itself has a different video chip. And you can't add just that chip to the existing screen. So the screen has to be replaced. So after the upgrade is done, guys, um, you'll have a screen left over that's worth some money that can be sold on eBay. We typically also buy these back for 200 bucks if you wanna resell them back to us. Um, that's mainly on the 16 and up. 15 vehicle would have to be pretty much perfect condition for us to take it back for 200 bucks. But these go quite often for guys all the time with the Tahoes trying to do the small screen. To the large screen upgrade so um, they're pretty easily sold on eBay so also uh, we will be supplying a new HMI module that has the programming on it specific for your vehicle to add the video icon because as you saw that was not there so we are sending you our module yours does have to come back to us that is a required core back just kind of FYI that is spelt out on the uh, website, but just so you kind of hear it from me, that's kind of the reasoning behind all that stuff. So without further ado, let me get going on tearing things apart. We've got some uh, panels to pop off here. Super tight metal clips, guys. Always sounds like it's gonna break. Reason being, you've got two seven or T15 torques on the side over here that come off. We've also got two down here. It'd be hard to see with the camera, but there it is right down here. That's going to allow this to now. Pop off, get out of our way. Again, tight clips. I'm gonna get this out of our way because we are gonna be doing a little bit more to this truck um, as well. So you don't probably don't have to, but that just kind of pushes down and then slides up. So now I can get this panel completely out of my hair. We are going to get this guy out of here next. Um, but first, I think I got to do seven here. This guy will pop off, but I am going to try and sneak this up and out first. I believe this is what has to come off first. Again, guys, kind of violent, but it will pull up and out of your way a bit further.
all this stuff is just really tight. But now I can just get this out of my way, guys. Guy's no fun guy. But once again, violent clips. Get that out of our way. There's a seven here, a seven here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of our way too. Clips. way to handle this is that right there this is for your keyless uh, remote entry keyless start most guys unplug this and then forget to plug it back in and this will make your keys not work to get in your door so this is critical make sure you don't do that now this panel off you can see this plug that I was working with real easy so I'm simply just gonna plug in right back there but since we're replacing the CD for a DVD, we're gonna keep going. Air vent. Comes right out. Four screws. stuck in here guys I should have done that before so just know if you're doing your um, if you're doing this upgrade just verify there's no CD in here which it doesn't appear that there is so we're in good shape Okay, all right, now this one's tricky because you got a lock on the bottom and on top, so you got to be a little bit creative here. And kind of 
pull out as you're also unclipping. So, careful not to scratch this up. Again, this guy is now worth some money to you once it's all said and done. Whether you sell it to us or sell it yourself on eBay or to a friend, just take care with this guy. I'm gonna set it out of the way for now. So, with that said, this will be coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and get the glove box out next though. And this is pretty easy, straightforward. All this stuff out of the way. Now, there's a little clip there. I don't know if you can see that, but we gotta make sure and bring that out. Okay. We'll just fold down. All right, and now we've got some T15s here. All right. So if I remember, there's like five of these. There's actually six. each side and there's one hiding right here everybody forgets about there's that little arm I was telling you about this allows your door to open and close without just flopping down so you gotta remember that when going back in But now we have access to the HMI. So, um, we are swapping this for the software. So, best thing to do guys before unplugging all these is take and grab it and get it out of its um, case where it locks in there first. That'll let you come up here and start unplugging. fun clips in our way and my 90 degree but a 90 degree pick comes in super handy guys mine broke I need to get a new one GM likes to put those locks on there so that's got to come out see it goes in there it comes out before that'll push down and then this guys you got to be real careful with as well so these can be sometimes you got to get in here you push down on this tab but sometimes you got to push up and get in and help it down with a pick that one came out pretty easy but this is a very delicate connection and easily broken so you don't want to do that but now our HMI will slide right out so that's coming out the new one's going right back in always pay attention to where the label was guys coming out i have seen these quite a few times get put in backwards it's kind of hard to do because the harnessing is kind of designed to go in a certain spot but i have seen it done if you get this in flip side like a pancake and it's wrong you're gonna have issues GPS issues so make sure this goes back in just like it came out and we're just gonna plug things back in one by one not gonna plug in this blue cable guys I'm gonna give you a new one for the install
So, this upgrade also gets a new screen USB along with a new screen. So, this factory one is not going to be used anymore uh, right here. So, we'll just end up taping it back, tying it back. The new one will be used. These will be labeled because I'm doing the install. I didn't go to the effort to label them, but it'll say two screen, two DVD player, two HMI, which comes over here, plugs in where we just unplugged. Are also color coded, so you can't really get them wrong. So it just goes right there on the back of the DVD player. So with that said, let's. Uh, that we make if you're not doing the overhead uh, DVD which we are in this one so I'm going to show you some of that footage along the way um, it won't be live I will post it back up on YouTube and drop a link in there we're not gonna have time to show you all that today I did want to show you the front um, but these leads here if you're not doing the overhead you don't worry about them. You simply just tape them up or just let, let them be. They're protected fine. But this is going to plug right back in to the factory. Tuck that in. And then <clears throat> go into our DVD player. Okay. So from that point, it's the screen. This cable goes to the screen over to the HMI. We plug back in and we're done. Got my new screen cable. This one will run down plug into the back of the DVD this one will split Plug into our HMI, which I'm going to go ahead and just do. Can't see what I'm doing, guys. 
helps to be able to see, but we'll come back and clean all this up. I actually routed that wrong, so I'm gonna have to unplug it anyway and bring it back through and redo it, but so I can kind of fire things up and show you what's going on here. got a home so okay so if you're just doing the DVD upgrade this is all you'll have all right but we're doing that overhead right there and we're also doing the smartphone mirroring Right there everything just tucks in there Thing I will mention these DVD players typically need programmed they come out of another vehicle so if you guys are thinking you get your own used parts we can work with you there you're gonna need that harnessing I just showed you the cabling and a screen so we can provide you with the programming and harnessing if you prefer to get your own screen used um, these can be somewhat challenging to find now with the DVD board in them um, but that said just make sure New cables go right back in. This one's not going to be used. I'm not gonna put this all back together yet because I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna power this rear um, cable yet so let me go ahead and get this panel back on so I can at least fire this up and show you what we got uh, you will need to transfer the, the hat just pops off as you can see it's got um, these stupid clips so the other one will just pop right off. I'll try and show you that here in a second. But this obviously is gonna go right there. 
Again, I'm not gonna go through. It'll be good enough to show you what we got. And with that said, let me go to the other side. Um, so, you need to be in the video app. This is what allows you to control the DVD and Blu-ray. have it so now you've got full control on the screen you can also use your scroll knob to go to chapter two whatever and these are the previews right now um, if we were to go into drive right now that's gonna go away and that is where our unlock comes in so we're simply gonna tap this guy here two times Except now we're in drive and things work in motion this will also allow you to uh, we're out of <clears throat> where it's gonna pick up GPS signal but this would allow us to also enter an address while on the fly you normally can't do that it locks out <clears throat> so with this piece in it'll also let you do that and then um, I'll come back and show you the smartphone mirroring part, but you do um, have to be in DVD for this part to work, the app. Then you come down here, touch the screen. We're gonna select rear media, USB, rear media again, SD, aux, and that's where the uh, smartphone mirroring would display, so. In fact, I can probably go ahead and show you that portion of it real quick. One second. Excuse me, reach guys. Sorry about that. So, Android is wireless, guys, but as you know, iPhone, unless you have an Apple TV set up, it won't be wireless. Blue thing came up on the screen. Now we're mirroring the phone. And obviously your steering wheel controls will work so you got to make sure the audio is up on your phone as well and then it keeps coming out of my phone so sorry about that guys so there you have it all right you can go back to the uh, the DVD I have the unlock. I can 
also shut that off. It's back off now. Double tap it. Except. And we're back in. So there you have it, guys. There's the front DVD upgrade. I will show you some stuff on the overhead as I go. Um, it won't be live, so I'll post some links in here uh, to the YouTube uh, link to show you all that. But next is going to be the overhead, and we'll wrap up this smartphone uh, portion of the mirroring install. As usual, give us a call, questions, text us, messages here. Happy to answer them. Thanks so much.